Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe. Hit the, the bell button, like, comment, share. All of that would be very much appreciated. I'm also an author. I'm writing a series about a twin flame romance action adventure series. I've written two books in that series so far. You can find links to purchase those on Amazon, Kindle, Direct Publishing, on my wall here on YouTube, as well as links for trailers that I made for each book. This is your reading for the week of July 30th through August 6th. Um, I This is the uh, Celtic cross spread. I read it a little differently than others, so I'll explain as I go. Okay, so what's at the heart of everything for you this week is you are thinking about your change in fortune. This is destiny, the, the, the wheel of fortune, okay? You're thinking about um, your money, you know, your, your life, where things are going. This is a divine card. This is a message. Um, to me, when you get a uh, major arcana card such as this, it's the divine telling you that uh, this is your destiny that you're thinking about. You're thinking about your fortune. And you'll notice that this card is upright. If this was upside down, this would just be an energy that was just simply uh, manifesting at the time or coming into being. It would just be um, a, po a possibility, okay? So um, you're thinking about what your fate is, and um, I, it's, I think it's very much connected to your career and your money as well. The next card that we read are the forces that are directly affecting what's at the heart of everything for you this week, Leo, and that is the Five of Swords. Now, the Five of Swords is uh, usually some sort of conflict, some kind of strife. This can be an unfair battle, um, gossip, trickery, some sort of deceit. Uh, this is, um, it could be that you are in the middle of some sort of conflict, and it's not very fair right now. Now, swords are... Um, air energy okay there may be an aquarius involved with with this this is air energy this is mental this is logic um but this card uh is about arguments and things that are not exactly very fair so the next card that we read is uh the energy that is in the root of everything for you and this is the emperor now, this is another major arcana card. This is um, a message from Spirit saying that, you see, when the Emperor is right side up, um, the, you're in your power, okay? This could have something to do with an Aries. This is the Aries card. Um, but since he is upside down and you are Leo, I'm, I'm feeling, uh, Leo, that you're not feeling quite in your power, okay? Um, there's something that you need to do in order to get your power back see the emperor is in control fully in his power he's the boss and by it being upside down it's saying that you're not feeling that this week probably has something to do with this which can usually you know this can be very unfair all right so the next card that we look at is the uh the energies that are moving out of your life this week, Leo, please keep in mind that these energies can always come back in. And this is wand energy. This is your energy. Fire. Passion for life. Now, this is um, upside down. Okay, so that means that this, this energy never fully manifested. You've been looking for victory, and yet it didn't happen. Okay? This, you want victory in your destiny, but this, this, unfair conversation this strife right here is interfering and you're not feeling in your power so your victory never fully manifested and it's moving out all right so the next cards that we read are two future cards for me as a reader this is a more immediate future whereas this is a future that will happen a little further out Yet we read this one first. And this is the three of discs. Threes are rep 
they represent manifestation. Manifestation is when you bring something into being, into reality, okay? This may have something to do uh, with a Capricorn. You see the Capricorn right there? But um, three is always like this. You get the idea or the inspiration, then you get the goal, and then you get the plan, and then things start to work, which is why this card card is called Works. Now, this is creation through skill and understanding. This is the master craftsman completing his work and, and is now receiving praise by friends and family. This is business. This is a commercial transaction. This is starting a project and getting it going. And the advice for this card is that it's time to put your skills and talents to good use. So this will happen not immediately, but it's going to come a little further out there. The next card that we read is your more immediate future. And we have yet another disc. Now discs are earth energy. I forgot to mention for this here. Earth energy is all about your health and your wealth. Okay? Now that's why I was saying that the wheel, you're, you're thinking about your destiny um, when it comes to your career and your money. Now the ten of coins is, um, this represents our home, our workplaces, our immediate family. Uh, blood family, okay, inheritance uh, of our DNA, our genes and stuff. And you'll see that this card is upside down, which means that this is manifesting, but it hasn't quite come into being yet. Now you'll see here that the three of discs is right side up. This will happen, okay? This is still a possibility. It's still trying to manifest, okay? Now the thing about tens, is that tens are also endings, okay? This is the foundation of your life. This is your true wealth. This is your home, okay? And so um, the, the completion that you're looking for here in your destiny, in your uh, the wheel of fortune here, uh, is still trying to manifest. Please keep in mind that this energy is there, okay? And this will happen very soon. I'm sure that if you can just get your confidence, somehow muddle through these, or not muddle through, but get through this strife that's going on with you here. Take back your confidence. You'll gain your victory back. You can pull this. This is all about passion. This is all about energy. And you can get your victory back. All right. The next card that we read is your hope card. Okay, now this is another disc card. This is more earth energy. This is coins. This is health. This is wealth. And um, when this card is right side up, this means change. Okay, and um, this is still a possibility. So you're hoping for some sort of change in your life right now. Some sort of balance. A balance that is meant to be. Okay. Happiness in your family, victory, being in your power, you know, arguments. These things can, they, you know, we don't want them to be, but they can be so powerful, can't they? They can really throw off your balance. You want balance back in your life. You want it back in your health and in your wealth. This, this can mean um, juggling. Sometimes this means the daily struggle. But I'm thinking this mostly means harmony, a pleasant change for you, um, balance. Okay, so the next card that we read is your environment card. And yet, we have more discs. This is a lovely feminine energy. You'll see that she's got the yin and yang symbol here, which is the same as on this too. And, and that is really giving the message of balance. You're looking for some sort of balance with a lovely feminine energy. Um, this princess is about conception. She can be about pregnancy. Um, she can be the beginning of a new project or a physical creation. This can be a person who holds all the, character, uh, all the characteristics of womanhood in its ultimate form. She's warm-hearted and and generous and reliable and stable. 
So you, it must be that you're a uh, man or woman. Uh, energies are just energies. You're looking for a feminine energy that is lovely like this, that is caring, that is balanced um, and stable. The next card that we read is um, your fear card. Now, this is a major arcana card, and when it's in your fear section, and this is definitely right side up, this is the divine telling you to not be afraid, Leo. Okay? You have nothing to be afraid of. Um, the sun is in your chart. Okay? So this does have, this does speak to the Leo energies. This card is the happiest, best card in the deck. And so it being a minor, uh, major arcana card is telling you, Leo, the divine hears you. When it's your destiny, it's your destiny. It's just some things that you have to get through. Things like this that you have to overcome, and I, I need to get to that. But this is telling, whenever we get this card, Leo, um, it, it sort of not exactly overrides all the negativity in this reading, but what it does is it lifts it all, uh, at least a few notches. It's saying that it's not so bad. And the fact that it's in your fear section is telling you don't be afraid. Because when you're afraid of something that is your destiny, or you're afraid that your destiny will not come, then all that does is manifest that energy for you. What we think is what we manifest. This is your energy. Now, the next card that we read is your outcome. And you'll see that you have another five. You may want to go ahead and look up uh, Google angel number 55 because that is another message for you. You also have two tens. This is a ten. And this one is as well. So you may want to look up ten ten because that's going to also be very significant for you. Now when we get fives, now four is the number of stability, the stability that you're looking for here, okay? But when you get a five, the five brings instability to the fours. And this card is right side up, and this is another disc card. This is more about money. This is um, about your earthly blessings. This is right side up. This is fully manifested. So this week, it looks like you're going to be worrying. You're going to be worrying about this. But let me tell you, Leo, the more energy, the more thought that you give these energies, the more they will manifest. This is, this is lack mentality. This is when you worry about not having enough money. But what you really need to do is look around and see exactly where all your blessings are. And, and every time you catch yourself worrying or feeling defeated, um, try to catch your breath and just count all your blessings. And then that's when you're going to realize that it's not so bad. Now, Leo, the underlying energy that you have for this reading is the universe. Okay? Now this this speaks to completion, but right now I'm feeling that this is also some essential questions. This is telling you there's going to be a little bit of delay and that you're going to have some opposition. Okay? You might be dealing with some crystallized thinking, which is basically saying it's immovable thinking. But this is all about your world. In other decks, this is the world. Now, how much control do you have over all of this going on for you this week? And I determine that by uh, the number of major arcana cards to minor arcana cards. And you, and you have one, two, three major arcana cards. So that means that three out of ten, you, you have most of the control here. This right here is saying this mental energy, this is worry. This is worry. Okay? The, the five of swords and the five of discs, this is a big message from spirit telling you that this type of thinking, this is thinking, this is thoughts, this is logic, it's only going to bring you 
lack mentality. I know it's hard, especially in times like these. They're getting a little rough for everyone. Everybody's home is turned upside down. A lot of, not everybody, but a lot of people's homes, their, their, uh, what they do for a living, their lives have been turned upside down. But what you have here in your fear card is the right side up energy of the sun. Happiness is coming, Leo. And we just have to get there. Okay? Try not to worry. The divine is with you. And when you have a destiny, it's your destiny. Okay? You will eventually reach it. That's what I have for you this week. See you next time.